All right, we're back again in DaVinci Resolve 17, and I know that there's a lot of people that would like to blur the background so that their iPhone videos can just be a little bit more motion picture quality. They're doing a music video and they want it to be a little bit more professional and they want to blur the background. If you do start watching movies, you really should probably pay attention to um, the background at all times. Um, it's always blurred and it really gives off the impression that you're watching a movie versus something from an iPhone. Um, and once you do realize that, you'll realize that when you want to start making things, that's one of the first things that you're going to need. And DaVinci Resolve actually makes sure to have that. So you've just down, you've just made a video and you've downloaded it to your desktop and you just go ahead and grab it, put it in your media pool. This always happens. Just say change and make sure you're in the edit tab and go ahead and drag your clip. And for rendering purposes, we're gonna go ahead and make it shorter. That way it doesn't take as long and you're not sitting here waiting forever. Now that it's here, all you have to do is simply go into this tab right here. It's the color tab. And uh, well, if you ever did get this program and you noticed you're getting a lot of options on the internet to download LUTs and all, all a lot of other graphics, this is where you're going to find the LUTs. They're all right here. And um, these are going to be ones that just strictly change the tint. They're not going to be able to do any kind of moving graphics or lens effects. You're just going to be looking at um, your, your exact video but tinted a different color. For the duration of the entire video these don't do five seconds or anything like that so you basically have immediate changes but all the um, extra effects besides the tint alone is going to be where the inspector is and where we were before in the edit tab. So um, if you do like any of your LUTs, you just hold it down and you drag it on the top of the screen and it'll basically do it for the duration of the video. Um, if you do come here, also make sure these are all right here. So all you do is select this tab just because you can tint anything. Make specific changes after the fact. Now you have um, exactly what you want and you're like, I need to blur the background. What do I do? So we're in the color tab and you just have to make sure that your magic max icon is selected and then you're going to want to do your positive dropper and then make sure this is selected. And all you do is drag this on the person. Once that's done, you're really wanting to blur the background, so you want the background selected. So then you just press this icon and it'll do everything besides the person. Now that that's all selected, and it'll do that for the duration of the entire video, you um, simply go to this box right here, which is blur, and raise this up like so and then go back to your original screen. Now it's selected, it'll be blurred, and you just have to let it render. So once, once you like it, once it's the way you want it, then you just press this button. It looks like a play button, and there's another play button right here, but this one really plays, this one will render. And it's gonna think its way through it slowly but surely. And when it's done, if it's all you want to do, you basically are finished. But um, if you do notice that there's some blue peeking around the edges, that's technically going to be a little bit of a problem. So the sooner you catch it in their hand too, you just stop it. And it's, it's not the way it's supposed to be, right? So you just simply um, 
when it happens, the sooner you catch it, the better. Just do that, and it'll know to get the whole sector. And um, the sooner you get it, 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 it'll do it from that point forward. So basically, you have to really know your video and know when things pop up instantaneously so you can get it as soon as possible. So pausing it and adding a new stroke are really, really, really important. Also, it's probably a good time to talk about how do you fix these so that it's not all pixelated when you're done. And there's um, the positive which we're using, which will do basically anything in blue. Now, the negative will do anything in red. So it'll do a red stroke. So you see a spot right here, all you gotta do is press a dot and it'll basically know what section you're talking about. And you just make sure it is in the general area and then whenever that spot pops up for the rest of the time after that, it'll know, oh, you want that. Um, Cause that'll be crystal clear instead of blurred and it's not supposed to be. So that from that point on, it makes new strokes down here. You just basically will go right back to rendering. Now, every time you do this, you basically want this to go all the way to the end. So now that we're done, we simply Go here to the rocket, which is deliver. Um, make sure under format, you just make sure uh, MP4 is selected. Um, title it. And, and you go down here to the bottom and it says add to render queue. And it basically will give you an option on where you want to save it. So it's going to go to our desktop. Now it's one more step after that. It'll just send it over here to the ready box. If you're doing multiple projects and you want them to all go in order one after another after another, and you want to walk, walk away from your computer, so you can do other stuff that day, then you come back and then it'll all be done. Because rendering at the final time is what takes the longest. So it'll definitely get every tiny little thing so that when you play it on your computer or send it to somebody, it won't have any pausing whatsoever. So if it is just one project, just press render all. And it'll tell you at the top the percentages and how fast it's going. So four, six, seven, 9% and so on. And it'll also show you right here how far along it is and here how far along it is. Now when we're done, one of the things that you're gonna notice is it's gonna have a hard line around the edges on where it's blurred and where it's not blurred. And there's a way um, inside DaVinci Resolve to basically just select these areas and it'll even that out. But this is just to give you an idea about its um, unique ability to just 
simply select the person with a standalone line and it'll do all the hard work for you. Um, there was decades that um, that one process was so expensive and so um, really heavily, gu uh, heavily guarded that um, you, nobody could make any motion pictures because it was a defining characteristic was to blur the background. So it's really something that's new as far as people in their houses to be able to get that particular graphic effect. Um, maybe, I mean, DaVinci Resolve has only been out for like two years. So you're really getting something that's brand new um, as far as something that's simplistic so, so anybody can do it. And then um, you're getting um, something that usually is a long process, an expensive process, and takes a lot of expensive computers and DaVinci Resolve will take care of that for you. It's all the way done, so we should just be able to close out of this, open up the video. Hey guys, welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. I took day 10 off. And there's your video.